can you give me a wave? It is so good to see you. Now, Tiny Tots, have you seen Gerald anywhere? Can you see him? Why don't you shout out from home if you can see him? And I'll try and listen very carefully for your shout. Are you ready? Let's have a look to see if we can find him. Have you seen him yet? Hmm. Oh, did I hear you shout? Oh, I'll keep looking. Oh, I wonder where he's got to. I hope he's not lost. Hello, Tiny oh, Tots. Oh, Gerald. Hello, Natalie. No, I'm not lost. Did you not see me, Natalie? <laughs> oh, no, Gerald. But now that I've found you, it looks like we have a fluffy Gerald. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Gerald, why do you have bits of cotton wool on you? I thought I would dress up for our Bible story. Um, Tiny Tots, can you guess what I'm pretending to be? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Tiny Tots? Gerald, are you dressed up as a sheep? Yes, I am. All for our Bible story later. <laughs> well, shall we get ready to start now? Yes, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready to worship the Lord. Well, let's stand up together and do the actions. Okay, let's stretch out our arms. Oh, that's good stretching. Let's stretch out our legs. <laughs> Let's stretch out our woolly heads. Oh, I don't think we have woolly heads, Gerald. Well, well you do that. Come oh. your hair. Thanks, Gerald. And give your whole body a shake. <laughs> Let's get ready to give God our best. Psalm 100 tells us to say thank you to God for all the good things that he gives us. Shall we do that now, Gerald? Oh, okay, yes. Um, Thank you, Father God, for cotton wool and the fun things for dressing up. Yeah, and thank you, Father God, that you are with us now. Oh, Tiny Tots, what would you like to say thank you to Father God for? Why don't you say a thank you prayer together? Grown-ups, you can pause the video and take it in turns to say thank you to God. Can you remember what else Psalm 100 tells us? Oh, oh, it tells us to praise God. Yes, so we're going to tell God how great he is. Shall we get ready to dance and sing to him? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, now, Pete is going to lead us in worship. Tiny Tots, are you ready to worship the Lord? Can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. 
see a banana, yeah. a car, yeah. a giraffe, yeah. a paintbrush, yes. a brick, yes. Ooh, and a cat teddy. Yeah, well in a moment you need to close your eyes and one of the objects is going to wander off Ooh. and you need to try and remember which one has gone. Okay, so Tiny Tots, close your eyes or hide behind a cushion I'll turn away. Okay, you ready? One of the objects is going to wander off. Oh, which one is it? Okay, you can open your eyes. And can you remember which one has gone? Oh, uh, um, is it the car? Yes, it oh. is the car. Well remembered. Shall we try another one? Yes. So close your eyes or hide behind a cushion. And which one of the objects is going to Wander off. Right, I'll turn away so I can't see. Okay, you can open your eyes. So which oh, one has um, gone? Um, uh, can you guess, Tiny Tots? Is it the banana? Yes, it is the banana. Oh. That would have wandered off. Okay, oh. last one. Close your eyes. I'm going to see which one has gone. Okay, keep your eyes closed, Tiny Tots. Okay, now open them. Oh. Which one has wandered off? Um, um, um. Is it the giraffe? Yes, it is! Oh, did you get well that right? done! You got it right! That oh. was really good remembering! Okay. But well, it is time for our Bible story now. Oh, 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 it's time for my sheep outfit. Yes, yeah. Gerald. <laughs> well, that's very good, Gerald. Well, in our Bible story, Jesus is telling the people a story. It is a story about a shepherd. A shepherd? Natalie, what's a shepherd? Oh, well, a shepherd is someone who has the job of looking after Ugh. the sheep. And I can be one of those sheep. Yeah. There. Well, in our story, one of the sheep wanders off oh. and the shepherd needs to find him. Uh -oh. I often wander off at the start of Tiny Tots Online. <laughs> but you always find me. Yes, and I'm very glad we do. Well, let's read the story and find out what happens. Okay. Some people wondered who was most important to God. So Jesus told them a parable. Think about a shepherd. What does he do? He watches over his sheep. He gives them plenty of food and he gives them plenty of water. He counts them up to make sure they are all there. But if one is lost, he looks for it. He looks in the barn. He looks near the stream. He looks in the hills. He looks everywhere. The shepherd does not give up. At last he finds the little lost sheep. He carries the sheep back. He calls his friends together and says, Let's celebrate. My lost sheep has been found. Then Jesus said, God loves every one of his children. 
just as a shepherd loves his sheep. When one of God's children sins, they are like a sheep that has gone astray and God is very sad. But when that person turns away from sin and comes back to God, God is very, very happy. He celebrates like a shepherd who has found his lost sheep. The sheep were really important to the shepherd. So when one wandered off and got lost, the shepherd looked everywhere for it. Yeah, can you pretend to look for the sheep? Look all around. The sheep were really special to the shepherd and he wanted to find it. So you found this sheep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well the shepherd didn't give up until he had found the sheep. And when he did, he was so happy that he invited his friends to a party to celebrate. <laughs> he was so pleased to find the sheep. Yeah, so Jesus was telling this story to show us how important we are to God. Oh. He loves us so much and wants us to stay close to him. That's right. He wants to look after us, just like the shepherd looked after his sheep. And we can be close to him now. Oh. So let's lie down. You can close your eyes and chat to Father God now. You can whisper it into your hands or you can think in your head. Why don't you tell him that you want to stay close to him? Grown-ups, you can do that too. Maybe there were ways that you might have wandered off. Why don't you let the Lord find you and bring you back close to him? to Father God. Let him draw you close and show you how he feels about you. Then let's get ready to catch what he wants to say to us. Remember grown-ups, if you catch something for your child, you can pray it over them. But also the Lord might want to be speaking to you. say to me that I'm special to him. Oh, yes you are, Gerald, and so are you, Tiny Tots. All of heaven has a party oh. when we come close to him. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I bet at that party there's lots of dancing, lots of <laughs> dancing in heaven. Yes. Hey, hey, why don't we stand up and celebrate now? Let's worship the Lord. Woo! Oh 
This is with me every step. Dear Father God, thank you for looking after us. We know that we are special to you. Please help us to stay close to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ooh. Gerald, you seem to have lost your sheep costume. Oh, it was getting a bit itchy. Oh, give me a nice little scratch oh. there. It is time for us to go. Tiny Tots, we have loved seeing you. Remember that you are so special to Father God. He loves you and he wants you to always stay close to him. Can you give us a wave goodbye? Goodbye. Bye. Hope to see you next week. Bye.